today I want to take a look at pointlessly gendered products. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time because things are gendered for no reason. And it was, it, growing up, it was the most annoying thing. It just reminds me of whenever I would go to McDonald's with my mom as a kid and I would ask her to get the boy toy instead of the girl toy. And then it would be like a Pokemon or a Polly Pocket. I didn't want Polly Pocket. What if the girls don't like Polly Pocket? Why can't we just say Polly Pocket or Pokemon? There's too many P's, just forget it. Well, <laughs> now we can move on to pointlessly gendered products. Well, that's really great. This is all I have written in my notes. P? Why is it? <laughs> Wait, that's really weird. So like I said, this is the subreddit called Pointlessly Gendered. So if you want to check it out, you can go for it. It's a good laugh. So right here we have the four genders. Coffee stickers, office fan art stickers, stickers for guys, and vine stickers. Only guys can like space, and lava lamps, and computers, and old video games, and teddy bears. Anyways, yeah, ladies, didn't you already know that? So we've got this post. I'm going to read you the original tweet first, okay? I had a fascinating conversation with a woman programmer some years ago. We compared our feelings about writing code. I told her it felt like hunting and bringing home meat. She told me it felt like nurturing something into being. I already hate this. I already hate this. All right, so someone replied and said, I had a fascinating conversation with an Italian programmer. He told me that programming felt just like making the pizza. <laughs> the main thing I'm concerned with here is how the fuck does coding make you feel like you're hunting and bringing home meat? These people love to pretend that we live in like 1800. If you really love 1800 and hunting and gathering meat why don't you just build a time machine and go back there so i love how they act like that's like ingrained into their brain if it were applicable and i was born a female i don't care to nurture for anything at all not even myself that was a little dark but i don't does this look like it bathroom signs just why yeah i don't know if it's the snowflake in me but it's, <laughs> it seems kind of misogynistic <clears throat> I hate when you go to a restaurant and they have those really dumb restrooms where you can't, you don't know if it's a men or a women's room. I went to one once and one of them had Batman on it. The other one had some other character on it. Like I had two drinks. Can you please just, I just want the bathroom that says men or like unisex. I don't know what Batman means for a bathroom. Extrovert and introvert restrooms. Awesome. That's, a, that's one way to put it actually. Girl, a giggle wrapped in sunshine and glitter. Boy. A noise with dirt and grass stains on it. <laughs> what the fuck? Who okayed this to go on the shelves? Why would you ever buy that for your son? Like imagine somebody giving that to you as a gift and it, it literally says that your, your son is just a noise with dirt and grass stains on it. It. On it. Not even just him. Yeah, get it away from me. Your little dirt and grass stain, get it away from me. Women don't get matches. And we have these sets of matches here that say men. Now, I don't know if this is just the brand. I would probably purchase these for the gender euphoria. If there was a huge selection of matches, 10 different ones, and I saw the one that said men, I'm buying it. I don't care. I'm sure women can comment on the sports ball fine. And then we've got a tweet by the lovely Matt Walsh. Yes, I said that I don't like female analysts and reporters in football. No, I don't care if that upsets you. No, I don't apologize. Yes, I think women are feminizing traditionally male spaces. Yes, I think that's bad. Yes, I'm right. No, your whining doesn't change any of this. That gave me a fucking headache, man. I feel like this isn't pointlessly gendered, but it's just really annoying. And also, I feel like if you're a person who says, no, I don't apologize, you need help. Does Matt Walsh know that women also play sports? Like, they do sports too, because they know how to do them too. Don't know if there's a difference, but I didn't know they had genders. So I've got two packs of tomato rockets right here. This one is called Early Girl Tomato. And the other one on the right is called Big Boy Tomato. I mean, what does early girl tomato mean? Like, is it an early tomato? Like, it's not, it ripes early? I don't really understand. So this person said, they are a variety. Not everything that mentions gender is pointlessly gendered. Okay, someone takes their tomatoes really seriously. I don't really pay attention. It's just, if, if it's small and red, it's a tomato to me. The man mug for man coffee? Man tea? Man hot cocoa, maybe? Man, it's not for girls, mug. Ah, oh, that's my favorite type of mug, man. Oh, no pun intended there. This is the mug that you buy for like your younger brother so he just feels a little bit better about himself. And this is also the mug that you buy for your friend who just transitioned into a man. I would appreciate that as a gift. Man mug, please buy it for me if I was 16. For female money, 
Women's account checkbook. See, this is very pointlessly gendered. What does checkbook have to do anything with gender? Does one of them have like flowers and the other one has like steak on it or something? The girl made a sex joke and the guy laughed. This was a commenter's response. This is like Freaky Friday. A woman with a man's humor and a man with a girl's femininity. This is amazing. <laughs> Why does that have a thousand thumbs up? <laughs> Wait, men laughing is feminine? Shit. I am not laughing the rest of this video. Ooh, I almost laughed there. I'd like to take a second to thank me, Undies, for collaborating with me on today's video. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's uncomfortable underwear. I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit is annoying. Me Undies make softer than soft basics for everybody. I got a lot of really awesome products from them. So as you can see right here, I got some underwear. Sheila's got some underwear too. I've got a couple of t-shirts. I've got some socks and I got a rope. When I put these products on for the first time, they were the softest material ever. They're like lightweight, they're breathable, and they fit to your body really well. They also have so many different colors and patterns to choose from. So for me, I got all of these patterns. One of my favorite products I got for them were these gray boxers right here. Like I said, the material is super soft and they're long, so they don't ride up or do any of that stuff. They have sizes that range from extra small to 4XL. If you sign up for their membership program, you can get underwear delivered to your door every month and up to 30% off everything on site. You can cancel or skip anytime. By the way, the US has free shipping and free returns. So if you guys want to get any of their awesome products, you can go to this link right here or click the link in the description and you can get 15% off your first order with MeUndies. It's scientifically proven that men never say these words. If ever a man says any of these words, he is in fact a woman. But on a real note, who is allowing this to be hung in their home? Five deadly terms used by a woman. Oh boy. Number one, fine. This is the word women use to end an argument when she knows she is right and you need to stop talking. Number two, nothing. Means something and you should be worried. Number three, go ahead. Do not confuse this with permission. It's a dare and don't even think about it. Number four, whatever. A woman's way of calling you an idiot. Number five, that's okay. She is thinking long and hard. <laughs> she is thinking long and hard on how and when you will pay for your mistake. Bonus word, wow. This is not a compliment. She is amazed that one person could be so clueless. I feel like this is just five deadly terms anybody would use. Who buys this shit? Is this for a man-child cave? <laughs> hey, don't hate on the man caves, okay? We like to live in caves because we like to pretend that we go out and hunt and gather meat. So stop hating. I can't wait for Halloween. I feel like this is not pointlessly gendered to me. This is a USB cable. No, oh, no, I kind of get it. Alright, he's the man USB and she's the port. Okay. I would wear this costume. It's kind of funny. It's right. It's kind of, you don't even have to do much. You just have to put this little belt around your waist. You can wear whatever fit you want. Why am I talking like that? Fit? An outfit. You're 25 years old. Grow the fuck up. Fruit smell? Bright colors? Nah. Real men shower with lightning. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I love how the women's just has like limes and flowers and then like a grapefruit. And then the men's has like this black pit with this, what the fuck is this red ball? Is that a big boy tomato? And then we have lightning, because there's nothing better than smelling like lightning, if I'm being honest. Ah, yes, because women need special goggles. So there's women's goggles. But what would actually be the difference between a man and a woman's goggles? Someone said something about the eyes being closer. My eyes are pretty far apart, actually. They're really far apart when you look at those goggles. Those goggles are going on half of my eye. So I was meant, I was meant to be a man. Fuck those goggles, dude. So this restaurant looks like they need some help. They need a cook. And a phone girl. Hold on. Help wanted. Cook phone girl. Oh shit. Don't apply there. 15 sad movies that men are allowed to cry at. What is this bullshit? Please tell me that Shrek is on there. All of the Shreks, not just one of them. You know, I cry at- I cry at TikToks. How the fuck is there only- only 15 movies that I can cry at? That's fucked up. Gendered single person porta potties. So what would be the point of that? Porta potties are all disgusting and then only one person can go in them. The only thing I can think of is like a urinal is in one of them. But then at that point, like at any point, whenever I have to use a porta potty, it's because I have to use it really, really bad. I would rather shit outside than shit in a porta potty. As a woman working in construction, there's a huge difference. Men piss everywhere in their attempt to hit the urinal. A woman's one means no urinal right next to your arm, or at least it won't be pee soaked. Neither will the floor be pee soaked, or the walls, or the door. Like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> also, men's porta johns always have shit smears and snot smears. Part of that is that there are more men than women, but we also keep Lysol in ours and stay pretty clean. I mean, this woman answered it perfectly. 
but that is unfair to the men who are clean and who don't shit all over the walls. We should have like porta potties that say, I'm going to piss everywhere or I'm going to piss in the toilet. And that would be a little bit more ideal. I mean, that's pretty fucking disgusting, actually. How do you, how do you smear your shit on the wall? You really have to go out of your way to do that. Or your snot. Why are you having snot and, and shitting and wiping it everywhere? That's weird uh as a grown person guess my female nails need a more feminine clipper again this is something i would have bought for my 16 year old self to feel some gender euphoria so i can't even complain no without the light how do i know where to sit and then we've got this hot tub or bathtub i guess yeah i don't know about this why would you want two separate tubs like that i feel like when you're going into the bath like with champagne and it's like a romantic thing wouldn't you want to be be in the bath with them also i wonder what happens if the man sits on the woman's side and the woman sits on the man's side does anything happen can somebody tell me for science because if something happens i need to know do you guys remember when yankee released man candles for when fresh cut grass is too feminine so you need riding lawnmower to prevent your husband from being emasculated what this is a real thing there's no way this was a real thing i'm gonna look it up it was a real thing look at these candles you have man town First down, riding mower, and two by four. What does man town smell like? I feel like that might not be a very good scent. And also riding mower. I, I just, I love how they couldn't have said fresh cut grass or like fresh cut lawn or just grass. It has to be riding the mower. Just to remind him that he is the one who rides the mower. He is the one who cuts the grass. Dainty lady feet need not apply. Men's wooden roller and foot massager. Yeah, only for men's hard feet. What happens when you're non-binary and you use it? The gun and then the girl gun. You know, I just don't think the kids care that much. I feel like it's the parents who care a little bit more. Ah, yes, a revolver and a revolver. Just the tap water filter being manly enough and big enough for man. Just so you know it belongs to man and that he is manly. That water bottle is huge. I would buy it for size purposes because look, you can get so much more water of it and you can pretend you're the man of the house. And then you know which cup is yours too because it says man of the house. Gendered dog pastries at Petco. We've got the pie-shaped treat for a charming boy and the pie-shaped treat for a darling girl. I hate to break it to you right now, but dogs do not have genders. Saw this at my COVID vaccine place and we've got prayers and promises for men and prayers for difficult times for men. I mean, how could you really make a book about prayers and difficult times for men? I'm really trying to think how you could gender that. Like, would this is this just not like basic advice and prayers? Like, is it like a prayer that says men in it or something? I don't, I don't get it. And last one here we got, yeah. And there are men's slippers and women's slippers. And there is no difference. I don't visibly see a difference. I expect extra room for my foot boobs. Ah... How could I miss that one? Foot boobs. I forgot about your foot boobs. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense then. Yeah, so that's all the pointlessly gendered products I wanted to show you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed them. I'm gonna go to the store right now, try to find myself a big manly cup so it can stay hydrated. So I'll see all you guys next week with a new video. Bye.